everyone and welcome to my channel meditating human i am tiffany nice to see everyone today good morning and today i wanted to uh, focus our our thoughts on becoming an expert in ourselves right so becoming an expert in you and what does that mean, becoming an expert in you? Knowing your likes, knowing your dislikes, what do you want to do, what you want to accomplish, all those things fall into that. But then also having the courage to stand in that, to be in that space that is you so that that's important because then people are less inclined to take advantage of you. And what I've noticed, especially as I became an expert in myself, what I've noticed was that people did not, especially people that I knew prior, right? People did not like the new Tiffany, which makes sense because I was not allowing them to do what they want and say what they want towards me. It was, okay, you've gone too far. You know, you need to calm down. That's not correct. Correcting people and just really not tolerating any nonsense from anyone else not really a lot well tiffany you know i'm gonna do because you, you i didn't ask you because you would have tell me yes anyway you know a good example of that would be i remember back in the day when i actually used to go to clubs um and i had my little hoopty it was it was an ultima um it was a hoopty the the side the side view mirrors were actually screwed on, had a screw in my power drill, screwed on to the side of the car because I just couldn't afford to get the car like fixed. So it was my hoopty, my first car. Um, but we'll go to the club. And at the time I was the only one out of, you know, at least all the girls that really had, and really all the guys, like really the first one to have a car. Um, and go to the club and it would be, and then I'm getting ready to drive home and all these people would be, oh, can you drive me home? Can you drive me home? I reached a point, in the beginning I was like, fine, but then I noticed that, yeah, people just, ex it was just an expectation. They would just expect me to take them home, not considering the fact that I was now having to drive all over Brooklyn dropping everyone home. I mean, it was one thing if one, they came with me and I picked them up. For me, the expectation is I need to drop them home. Or if the drive was on the way to my house at the time, it wouldn't have been a big deal. But having to go out of my way, go to different parts of Brooklyn and then I needed to turn around and still drive me home, okay? There was no gas money given, no nothing. And I remember this one time, which was the last time, that was the first time I actually said no. Um, someone came up to me and I knew her and she was like, oh, can you drop me home? And I'm just like, you live in the opposite direction of me. That's one and two. I'm like, how did you get here? Oh, well, I took a cab. I was like, but then you need to take a cab back home because I'm not dropping you home. I'm not going 30, 45 minutes out of my way to drop you home. And I still need to get home. I was like, I'm not doing that. And so she got pissed off and she left. And the next day I pretty much heard it. Oh my God. You know, and she said that you didn't drop her home. I'm like, I didn't. I was like, I am not a chauffeur. And I was like, I'm not doing it anymore. If I didn't pick you up, 
I'm not dropping you home. That's the end of it. People were upset, people were insulted. My thing is, well, how the hell were you going to get where you were going anyway? You were going to probably take a cab. Going to the club, most likely, I guarantee you, they're gonna hop on the train. But going home, you're gonna take a cab. So, and, and it's for me at least, as I look back on it, what made it worse was the fact that no one thought to ask me the question. Everyone is leaving. I'm like, okay, good night. And I have people, where are you going? Oh, can you just drop us home? I cannot. The result of that, I'm sure you want to know, was the fact that the result with that was I stopped getting invited places because I stopped allowing people to take advantage of me and to take advantage of the situation. And so once I put my foot down and I said, no, that's not what's going to happen. This is how it's going to be. Once I did that, then all of a sudden, I stopped getting the invitations, which tells me that they were using me for the ride home. I drew a line in the sand. I became confident in myself and my decisions and how I wanted to move forward. I became an expert in me. And in, be and in becoming an expert in me, the people who didn't serve me no longer stayed in my life. Now, I didn't see it as a slight because it made perfect sense to me. We didn't, you, you didn't come with me, so why would, why would I go out of my way to drop you off? I didn't see that as slight. I saw that as just common sense and common courtesy. That was not the case. And so all that, I, I, I didn't word it this way at the time, but all that told me was that they were not really my friends. They were using me for what I had and that them deciding to, I guess, punish me by not speaking to me anymore, by not wanting to uh, be my friend anymore. They were doing me. They were doing me a favor. Even though at the time I was like, okay, I'm, I've always been like, if you don't want to talk to me, then don't talk to me. Short of me considering you a true friend. If you don't want to talk to me, then don't talk to me. I, it's neither here nor there for me. I'm, I, I'm not, I don't beg for friends. I don't care. And me not chasing after them for the record added insult to injury, which I still don't understand why till this day. But because I started to do things that would benefit me, those people did not appreciate it. As I became an expert in myself and I was confident in my stance and my views and that was it. I was the alpha and omega of my life, no one else. And if you did not like that or you weren't able to accept it, then don't let the doorknob hit you. That's it. And I've lived my life like that ever since. Become an expert in yourself and stand in that power. I know myself. I know what's right for me. I know what's good for me. I know me better than anyone else knows me. I love me better than anyone else can love me. Until next time, dear hearts, love and light. Bye.